Canada extends in North America from the Atlantic Ocean in the east to the Pacific Ocean in the west. It borders the USA in the south, Alaska, also the USA, in the northwest, and Greenland, which belongs to Denmark, in the north. In addition, the French islands of Saint-Pierre and Miquelon lie off the eastern coast of Canada. The country has an area of about 9,984,000 square kilometers, making it the second largest country on Earth, after Russia. Canada has about 39 million inhabitants. The capital is Ottawa. The official language of Canada are English and French. The former British colony is now independent and a parliamentary democracy, which still recognizes the English Queen as its head of state. Canada has a total of about 2 million lakes spread throughout its territory. The most important are the Great Lakes in the south of the country. From east to west, these are Lake Ontario, Lake Erie, Lake Huron, Lake Michigan and Lake Superior. The most important river in the country is the St. Lawrence River, which connects the Great Lakes to the Atlantic Ocean. In the east, the Appalachian Mountains reach into Canada. In the west, the Rocky Mountains stretch from the north to south. They are part of a large mountain range that stretches from Alaska to Tierra del Fuego in South America. A large part of Canada belongs to the subarctic climate zone due to the country's location. In this area, there are huge coniferous forests. Further north, tundra climates are found. The southeast and parts of the south have a continental climate, with hot summers but very cold winters. East of the Rocky Mountains, a dry steppe climate prevails. On the west coast, the climate is oceanic. The winters in these regions are therefore much milder than in the rest of Canada. Canada is a federal state divided into 10 provinces and 3 territories. These are the Atlantic provinces of Newfoundland and Labrador, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island and New Brunswick. The central Canadian provinces of Quebec and Ontario. The prairie provinces of Manitoba, Saskatchewan and Alberta. And finally, British Columbia on the Pacific Ocean. The territories cover the northern parts of the country, Nunavut, the Northwest Territories and Yukon. Although English and French are both official languages, they are actually distributed quite unevenly across the country. French is the sole official language in Quebec, while English is the sole official language in most other provinces. New Brunswick is officially bilingual. Likewise, both languages are recognized in the territories. About 57% of the population speaks English as a native language, and about 21% speaks French. As a country of immigration, over 20% speak another native language. In the sparsely populated territories, Aboriginal or First Nations languages are also officially recognized, such as Inuktitut in Nunavut. Canada's largest cities are Toronto, Montreal, Vancouver, Calgary, Edmonton, and the capital, Ottawa. The southeastern corridor between the cities of Windsor and Quebec is particularly densely populated, with more than half of all Canadians living there. Economically, Canada is a social market economy and one of the richest and most highly developed countries on Earth. Canada has vast natural resources. These include timber, large parts of the country are covered with forests, Nickel, which is mined especially in the province of Ontario. Petroleum, the third largest reserves in the world, are located in Canada and are concentrated primarily in the province of Alberta. In addition, there are deposits of natural gas, gold, uranium, zinc and other metals. The North American country also produces and exports agricultural products. These include in particular wheat from the three prairie provinces, Alberta, Saskatchewan and Manitoba. In addition, cattle breeding is of great importance there. Fishing and also fish farms are practiced on the coasts. Fruit and vegetable growing is concentrated in southern Ontario. By the way, about 80% of the worldwide production of maple syrup comes from the province of Quebec. 
The industry concentrates particularly on the metropolitan areas of Toronto and Montreal. Here, the automobile and aviation industries play an important role. The most important branch of industry, however, is the service sector. Banks, financial services and insurance companies dominate. The most important service center is Toronto, where numerous companies have their headquarters, followed by Montreal. Montreal is also an important location for the video game industry. Due to the long distances involved, domestic air travel is highly developed in Canada. The most important airports are Toronto, Vancouver, Montreal and Calgary. In addition, roads are the most important mode of transportation. The Trans-Canada Highway, or Route Transcanadienne, is the only federal highway in Canada. The northern and southern routes connect the east and west coasts over a distance of about 8,000 kilometers, making it one of the largest trunk roads in the world. Today, the railroads are mainly used for freight traffic and local passenger traffic in larger cities. This is all about Canada for today. Thanks for watching, until next time!